and what about you and today we'll have a wee Corsa E it's a wee 1.2 4 cylinder and uh, we're going to do a wee bit of scoping car's in for service and a brake job but we're just going to take the opportunity and look at a few waveforms these are this is all injectors this is uh, injector waveforms so there we go we'll just show how we can do that with a wee pico right so we we'll have a, a couple of injector waveforms going on here on this wee pico 2000 and uh, I'll just show you a couple of these settings that it's at it's at 10 milliseconds for per division and it's one kilo sample rate and it's set at 100 volts there scale on the side so we'll have channel A is the blue and channel B is the red so that's A and B there so if you pretend that's a blue one and that's the red one so we'll have the pico leads we're using the pico leads here and that's the important thing so we'll have the blue trace the blue trace is in cylinder 4 red trace in cylinder 2 there so this uh, this wee engine fires 1 3 4 2 so it'll fire 4 and then 2 afterwards so if we bring it down to here we'll have our pico leads set at times 10 so they're flicked on the times 10 and that's given us a times 10 attenuation the wee pico is 20 volts maximum input but we've made that into a 200 volt scope just with those probes so we'll have the setting at 100 volts there uh, if we go up into the corner here I can find the cursor we'll have times 10 probe so that's it no fancy settings no nothing imported from the automotive one or anything like that so that one there then is cylinder 4 and then this one is cylinder 2 so that's firing and then that's firing now we bit in these these waveforms here then uh, that's a, the voltage normal voltage there it's just uh, below 13 volts there so that's the injector turning on get a bit of a drop and that's the inductor and the injector spiking away up to in this case it's about 70 volts so that's why we need that times 10 attenuation on the wee 2204A so the 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 wee 2204A can uh, can take this okay just by using the probes that come with it so all I have there that's a negative onto the onto the body of the car and the probes are clipped on with crocodile clips and they're back probed then into the, into the injectors just a wee thing I'll show you here with these injectors now it's, it's, what you have on, on these cars anyway is all these wires here to the, to the left are all the same colour so they're all the same colour so that's the that's the 12 volts but we're, we're back probed into the control wire which is the one on the right and those wires are all a different colour for every injector so it's, the, it's a purple wire there don't know how it's coming up on the screen there purple wire is the one on the on the left and they're all the same color and not, not every there's a purple one there not every car is like that i know rounds uh the wires are just all different colors or they're all the same color but uh and this wee voxel dead handy to uh visually uh, see that so that's our setup now what we're going to do is we're going to have a wee look at this time, the time that this the, the car, the ECU, turns this injector on. So 
we're going to change this we're going to introduce a fault we're going to introduce a vacuum leak so at the minute our fuel trims are hovering around around the zero mark there short term fuel trims so we're going to deliberately change that we're going to send these fuel trims sky high to about 15 or 20 so we're going to make the car run lean and that means what it'll do then is it'll bring this this away over the, the fire this far sooner so the, the make the injector turn on a lot uh, quicker to compensate and that's uh, that's because it's seeing these fuel trims go mad it's seeing the lean condition which is the information coming from the pre cad 2 sensor so it's just a wee experiment a wee bit of mucking about we'll maybe put it on the the mix egg we've got the mix egg out as well there because it's uh it's maybe a bit clearer on the camera but it's just to show you what you can do the wee 2204 there you can scope injectors no problem with it with the leads that comes with it so you can just go around around the injectors and, and see okay right so we're going to introduce the lean condition so if we, if we look for this for this here uh, moving here and that's that's uh, making the injector open quicker so or sooner I should say so I'm over the car here and I'm going to introduce a lean condition you'll probably hear the engine stumbling and here we go just doing it very very gradual Right, okay, I'll maybe uh, take off channel, channel B and get this in the middle of the picture. Right, so uh, I've taken off uh, channel B. We're just on, on channel A now, uh, and that's cylinder four. So I've dropped it down to two milliseconds or thousand, just to make this a wee bit more uh, more obvious. So we'll introduce the wee lean condition here. Very gradually. But without the engine stumbling too much, you can see the injector opening earlier, and then she starts to stumble. So I just want to uh, move you over onto the trims there. So I'm going to do the same thing again, only keep you on the trims. So it's hovering about the zero there, as you can see, hopefully, there. Um, and just do that again very gradually. That's it. The engine's starting to stumble. So you can see the trim's raising the way up. So that's it, adding more fuel. That's the injector staying open. Or opening uh, sooner to try and compensate for that. So I'm just going to show that on the mix eggs, maybe a bit clear, and you can watch it at the same time. Okay, if we uh, graph here, and uh, this will explain it a lot better than what I was saying there. So number one there, that's the the point in time when the injector is being switched on, and then number two as is as it's as it's switched the earth the the volts will drop the nearly zero volts okay and then if we look at this distance here which is what we're doing uh which is number three number three there that's uh the switch on time of the injector so that's that's the pulse width that's the the time that it's that it's on for okay so whenever that was going back uh it made the injector stay on for longer so that's a wee bit of a better explanation it's i don't think it's the fact that it's turning on sooner as of what i was saying there uh so number four then that's where the injector is switched off 
so that's where it's switched off and then number five is that big voltage spike that you see in the waveform and that's the collapsing magnetic field uh, created by that uh, solenoid winding so the the inductor that i was talking about the inductor winding and as it is switched off it's known as a back emf so so the next one that's worth noting is the is this we this wee hump here and it's very hard to see this wee hump here indicated at number six that's what uh, is known as the pintle hump or the uh, disruption in the magnetic field where the injector pintle comes back so that's the point where the needle actually closes again so that's that's known as the the pintle hump there so that's the the duration that the injector is on for so the bigger that is uh, well, the bigger the pulse width there, the, the longer the injector's on for. So therefore, there's more fuel going in. So that's a, a wee bit better explanation that we draw. Okay, right, so we'll get the, both these things in the, in the same shot here. So our short-term fuel trend there is sitting, hovering around the zero mark. That's our uh, injector number four there. So that's it sitting pretty steady. So what we're interested in is this pulse width there then. This is the amount of, uh, basically the amount of fuel that is going into the car. So whenever that's going to move back, when I create this link addition, that's injecting more fuel to compensate for the link addition that's seen here. So we'll give that a wee go now. Hopefully we'll be able to see it better in the next egg. And we're going to give it a vacuum right here. Just nice and gently. There we go, and you can see that opening. Green is starting to stumble a bit. So you see the, the trim is starting to rise. And the pulse web getting more and more, trying to compensate. Everything's running pretty badly now. I just close it off slightly again. So I'm just doing this by putting my finger over a pipe here. And you can probably hear it hissing, and the engine's stumbling quite badly. So if the trim's well up there, I think, in the conversation. So you can see that you can see the width of the, of the injector opening time now, or the pulse width getting larger. I can do that. I can do it again very slightly. Block it off now, so that's it back to normal, and uh, those trims should be starting to come down. Uh, the numbers there it's starting to go back in around the zero again, and that's stabilized. So there we go. That's a uh, injector opening time or amount of amount of fuel that is uh, put into the vehicle by the width of that that pulse. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you like this this sort of thing, by all means subscribe to the channel. I'm putting videos up all the time, uh, all this different sort of mucking about, and uh, a wee bit of, a wee bit of learning, hopefully, for all of us. So, all the best. Thanks very much for watching, and bye bye.